guys, we're back. It's me, Yay! Ashley, and it's our Hi. other podcast, our, our second podcast. And I got to say, a lot of things happen really interesting in February. The sweet victory. The month of the whole year and a lot happened. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, sweet victory happened at the Super Bowl. I mean, hit or miss, disappointment or not, I mean, a lot of people got to see. Yeah, that's a huge thing that happened. The SpongeBob was on there. And I was just amazed because I was like, hey. I called my dad. I was like, hey, dad, did you see SpongeBob? Because my dad was a big SpongeBob fan. He was like, oh, no, I didn't see him. I was like, he was on there for like two seconds. You can see him up there. Oh, no, I was. (laughs) Yeah, just blink of eye. It's gone. But hey, I mean, he was there. there. And even, yeah, oh my goodness, it was good. And even Brianna, she drew a picture of the sweet victory. It's on her. Yes, it's on our page. If you want to see the speed paint, you do want to see it. All you got to do is click on it and look at it. It's good. It's really good. It's great. It's perfection. I absolutely love it. I, I literally had tears of nostalgia just looking at it. It's really good comes to make me think about it, just another thing that's just happening this year and a little bit last year, it's just you just really start checking out art. Just art everywhere. How do you feel, Brie? Art just squirting out of my ass. <laughs> uh, Literally. I, I just, it's funny. I'm just like, hey, draw this, draw this, draw this, draw this. And I'm just, I'm, bon bon. yeah, I'm really into Bonnie and FNAF and I can't even play that game because chicken. It's chicken. And I have the Ultimate Custom Night game downloaded on the computer. Ask me, have I ever played it? No. The only game I played that was close to anything was FNAF World. FNAF World is really good. FNAF World looks so cute. FNAF World is really cute. I actually like FNAF World. It was, it was really good. I know a lot of people just like, oh my god, no, I'm... What is it called? FNAF. <laughs> I was called the Undertale. FNAF oh is just FNAF is just so terrible now because all the games are getting added. I'm just like, hey, he's making that money. He's just oh, yeah. milking it out more. If it was me, there'd be a lot more games with a cherry on top there. So many more. I would go absolutely insane. I'd be like, hey, Bree, I got another idea for a game. Let's make these cute, cuddly little animatronics from Chuck E. Cheese's. This time, let me give myself a little Freddy Fazbear Pizzeria. There we go. Let's just make these games. Let's make it happen, Captain. Let's- I mean, I can't blame it because think about, like, when one person puts out a game and it takes them years to put out another one. Like, he's just pulling them out, like, what he is. so fast. That, I mean, that, that is amazing how he is doing it. Like, just he just keeps pulling them out. I'm, that's amazing to me. And what, when did Bendy and the Ink Machine come out? I don't know, but that game was terrible. It came out. Bendy and the Ink Machine has so much beauty, but Bendy and the Ink Machine is. I want to no, say. 10, 2017. Wow, well, I got to 2017. Oh my goodness. I just started looking at it. Just like just like FNAF. And I was just like, hey, what's going on, FNAF? We got to drop that bomb about that game in this podcast. Yes. Alright, that game sucks. That game is terrible, Vending and Ink Machine. Um, really it's bad. beautiful no, character it's design. The fandom. the fandom is absolutely making it absolutely awesome. Absolutely making it really awesome. And, but I'm going to tell you, Bending an Ink Machine is a glorified Sonic the Hedgehog, but Sonic the Hedgehog oh. is better. Yeah, I know, it's like an insult on Sonic. I'm sorry, I'm Sonic. <laughs> You're going to get us all destroyed. But I mean, Bendy has their OCs. Sonic has all their OCs. Oh my god, you're right. Bendy fandom is really holding up the pillar of the game, and the Sonic fandom is literally holding the balls of Sonic together. I take it from all my Google searches when I look up Satan. I see a lot of Cuphead, so is Cuphead also holding freedom? <laughs> <laughs> and I have to 
just say that um, I was just start looking at a little bit of Cuphead with Brianna. It is great. It is absolutely wonderful. It's so pretty. The concept's beautiful. The fighting's gorgeous. Like, it's so pretty. When I was looking at um, Ben in the ink machine, I was sitting there like, what's happening? Why is this happening? My favorite boss in beta has to be the carousel dude. That guy was pretty cool. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. I know what you're talking about. It was really good. But, but my God, just... <laughs> we're not going to talk about a boss. We're not going to get into that. We're not going to talk about... Because, I mean, I love Bendy so much. I love the little carrot. He's, he's so adorable. I love Alice Angel. She's adorable. I love... Bo I, you like Boris more than I do. You like Boris more than I do. Just, I just, oh my goodness. Just speaking of furries, like, I really start just putting my toe into, like, the little deep foot water of just the furry fandom. And I've been really, like, I was like, wow. I'll pull you in real quick. I would say that to my 12-year-old self. Yeah, I was like, wow, man. Disney, you you are the blame for this because I started playing Toontown and I was like, oh, they're so cute. And then you just evolutionize yourself and it's just <laughs> now. Nah. I mean, furry the furry fandom isn't like doing animals. Meow. Oh. We're not we're not about that. No. You know. No, not at all. Now, I'm not even about dressing up in the, in the first season. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. There's, I mean, I mean, I might do it one day. No. Yeah, the, the first suits are fine. The animal. Everything is everything is fine with the furry fan. I actually like the little furries, the little people who do furries. It's just to me, I was like, oh, but right now my big toe is like in, but I keep pulling it out because I'm just like, oh, I have to say, um. Undertale, I had a um, huge little cartoon crush on Azrael Dreamer, and I have to say now with um, Five Nights at Freddy's, first it was Foxy. <laughs> first it was Foxy. I didn't like Bonnie. I didn't like his laugh at all. I was like, uh-uh. Not at all. That purple bastard. Yeah. Nope. And, um, well, my artist friend, Brianna, really it just made me say, oh, look at him. He's adorable. He's a bunny. I didn't know he was a bunny when I first, when I first saw I Five know, Nights at Freddy's. Point to be, how you don't think Bonnie is a bunny? I didn't well, think, I didn't know he was a bunny. How could you not? They were just, it was like, Bonnie's a bunny. It's like, what? I mean, I knew Freddy Fazbear was a bear. I know, I thought Chica was a duck. Like, like, was an Foxy, I mean, his name's in there. Yeah. Fox. Bonnie, he was just a, he was a freak of nature. God, am I so much of a furry that I can tell? I feel really awkward about that now. Just... Well, I mean, maybe not, I don't know, because maybe a lot of people are just not stupid like me. Because I, I literally saw him and I was like, I didn't know what it was. He was just a creepy creature to look at. I was like, whoa. What is that thing? That thing. <laughs> oh my god, poor Bonnie. I know, I just, I love it in pieces now. Oh my god, I've read all the FNAF books. The first one sucks. The second one really got a little creepy. And then the third one just went full on, want to knock your ass out, face scary. I was like, what in, what in the hell? happened. I was like, Jesus Christ. He did what? I don't want to spoil anything because maybe people want to read it and be late like I am. I'm late as I, I don't mean, know what. Yeah, if you want to know what happened, even though you didn't you say that he said that none of it's canon? I think he said none of it's canon, but I personally disagree. Some of the kind of lines up with yeah. but that's just my opinion. If anything, you don't want to listen to Matt. I'm not gonna sit there and just just say. I mean, any theory you want to pop in and stuff, you can you can do what you want yeah, to do. You're you can free do what you to want, it. But if you want to be maybe a little bit accurate, I don't. <laughs> I feel like you. If you really if if you're really into it and stuff, I feel like you should take your own opinion and take yeah, it as that. Exactly. And that would make you a lot more happier than. But no, but 
was in a bad bed. The other stuff. I'm sorry, I'm done. I have to say that one of the most disappointing things that I did hear from one of the theories is that the Golden Freddy is a girl. It's disappointing. Because they're so used to seeing the main characters, the main creepy characters being a girl. Like, I have to say, what what is it? Corpse Party? San Chico? What's, what's other scary games? I mean, the Grudge? The girl? It's just it's oh, never God. any, like... It's never any of the creepy kids, but I mean, there is a creepy kid in the Ultimate Custom Night looking at you. So there's the that. Movies, it's women. So yeah, it's just that it would have been that like um, um, Evil Within. Yeah. It just would have like, been. Most of the bad guys are women. Yeah, it just would have had more just style to it if it had just. But we'll never know. Speaking of characters that we don't know the gender, I for the longest time didn't know that the puppet was a boy. <laughs> like the actual animatronic thing. Yeah, but it's it's really it's really up to interpretation. It's what's like I said, it's whatever makes you happy and whatever you want it to be. But I mean, I just, yeah, I just took the child's gender and was like, oh, Charlie. Oh no, I mean, huh? I mean the animatronic itself because I consider the animatronics in their cells. Yeah. In a different entity yeah. than the children. That's just yeah. like saying Chuck E. Cheese is possessed by these other oh, things. Man, I was and stupid. I saw some like blush and some some tear streaks and some makeup. I was like, oh, it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm showing my age. I'm sorry. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's good. I, it's, it's whatever you want. That's what makes it, you know, yeah. fine. Your imagination. You take away your imagination. You have to live in a conform world, and it's, it's no fun no more. Does that mean that I accidentally drew the puppet and Lefty being gay? Or I should probably go mark that picture. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. You can do whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> but it wasn't supposed to be gay. Uh, it's, it's fine. <laughs> I think it's good. Anything you want it to be, that's fine. You know, yeah. I'll just leave it up to interpretation. Up to interpretation. That's all that matters. <laughs> but all right. This is our podcast of the month. Look, we'll be back in March to do something. Or we'll talk about something. More shit in March. Hey, hey, it's getting close to the Easter thing on Roblox. Oh my god, the Easter event on Roblox is great. It's so good. We're literally anticipating this every year. It's great. I'm so hyped. I'm hyped. It better be good. It better be really it good. Be because really good. I'm so excited. It was so fun last year. It got me entertained. All right, guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. You didn't like this video, thumbs up. You didn't like this video, <laughs> subscribe. You like this video, subscribe. I will see you guys on the next one. Goodbye, and check out all the speed pain.